Last thing I'm gonna put on with the carburetor is my idle mixture screw. This is what I call the late style idle mixture screw, which is one of the few things that change in the carburetor during the 350s production run. The late style screw can be identified by having this kind of head with the threads on it right here, and then a smooth body, and then this like one, two step tapered tip. Uh, again, if, if yours is in good shape in your carburetor and you can clean the tip off, you can actually use them again. It's a non wear item. But let me show you the order these pieces go in and the trick to putting it in the carburetor. I got the, the screw, I have a spring, I have a washer, and I have a sealing O-ring. Oftentimes this washer and O-ring are kind of stuck inside the carburetor body. So if you didn't pull them out and you have this style carburetor when you uh, did your tear down, uh, make sure you fish them out with kind of like a dental pick or something like that. So the order of this go in is gonna be needle, spring, washer, if I can get the washer, I can pick it up. Come on. Come on, washer. Here we go. Under the table. Washer. Like that. And then finally, a ring. And toss. And uh, as usual, I'm going to put a drop of oil on my O-ring here. I'm going to show you the trick to getting this. Drop oil there. I'm going to put a little drop of oil on the threads here. All right, so we want to kind of keep this stack intact. So I'm going to kind of keep it vertical. I'm just going to get that O-ring. There we go. Just like that. See how it's kind of seated on the, the top part of the taper? My carburetor, here's my hole. I'm going to turn the carburetor and just like that and get the, uh, the whole assembly kind of pressed in like that and get a couple threads on it. All right, that feels good. Get my screwdriver and thread it in. Come on, screwdriver. There we go. Don't go that far. I'm gonna have to go with a smaller screwdriver here. So I'm gonna thread this thing in until I feel it stop. Just like right there, stop. And now I'm gonna unscrew this thing full, two full turns as a good starting spot on my idle mixture. So let's do that. You have half, one, one and a half, two. All right, that's a good starting spot for my, uh, my mixture screw. That is the, uh, the assembly of the carburetor here. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test the operation of our slide to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, so now we're going to do our, our final test of the carburetor. We gotta get a little friendly with it. We're gonna test to make sure our slide is actually operating up and down like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna show you the front of the carburetor here. And you see these two holes in the opening where the uh, air cleaner would clamp on. Now these are inlet holes that allow air the velocity to come in and push the slide up. So I'm gonna simulate that by actually blowing into those holes and I'm gonna show you the back side of the carburetor and you're gonna see the slide move up and down. You should be able to hear it as well. So here's the back of the carburetor. I'm gonna open the butterfly all the way. You should be able to see the slide. And now you gotta get a little friendly with it. You hear it go click and hit the top. You come down nice and smooth. That's how you know the, the, the CV slide is working properly. If you're getting hung up, you can have a problem. So this carburetor is in uh, good shape, We're ready to go back on the bike. Um, so speaking of putting it on the bike, one part I can highly recommend changing out is what the carburetor attaches to, which is the intake manifold, or sometimes people call it the intake boot uh, for the CB350. It's part number 6051. Highly recommend changing these out on the bike because if they leak, um, have an air leak, they have caused a problem. They should fit nice and clean on the carburetor with a good click. So we're here. And they're just nice and seated on there. You get a nice clean fit like they're supposed to. So again, that's a part I highly recommend new intake manifolds for your carburetor. That's it. So 
That concludes the Honda CB350 carburetor rebuild. Uh, the same exact things apply to the other side of the carburetor. Again, they're identical. I also recommend watching our video on carburetor synchronization for the CB350 and 3, uh, 450. That's going to be an important next step now that these are done. And uh, what else do we got? Uh, carburetor identification guide, our carburetor parts overlay videos. All that stuff is good information to help you get your carburetors rebuilt. Uh, this is Brendan, our Common Motor. That's common-motor.com on the internet. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us at our website through our contact form because we're here to help. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.